Hey, what's up you guys, John here. So in this video, I'm gonna give you a real estate update on what's happening right now in this economy. So we have 4.3 million homeowners in forbearance. What forbearance is, it's an agreement between them and the lender to where they promise to make good on their payments. Well, hopefully they can, but if they can't, which I think a lot of them won't be able to, then they're gonna end up going into foreclosure. There's over 40 million Americans that are gonna be impacted either by foreclosure or eviction starting this week. So this is a huge, huge issue for a lot of Americans. And as this happens, there's gonna be a wave of foreclosures on property owners that are not in forbearance or do not have to evict the tenant. And the reason being is so in, let's say Manhattan, Queens and Brooklyn, there's already rent reductions by 5%. 5% is huge. These investors generally buy properties with a four to five to maybe a 6% return if they are lucky. So 5% return makes all of these investors in the red just holding the property. So they're owning it, they're operating it, they're maintaining it, they're doing everything at a loss. So a lot of people aren't gonna be able to hold on to these properties. In LA, it's 0.9%, so roughly a 1%. In LA, it's about a 4% return when you buy property. So we think about it this way, they just removed the incentive by 25% so far for investors that own property in LA. By the end of the second wave, this could be if you go to 3% or 4%, meaning everyone in LA that's buying properties or have purchased properties the last couple of years did so and now at a loss. So there's gonna be a huge wave of foreclosures happening from East Coast to West Coast and everywhere in between due to what's happening right now. And now what developers are doing is they're building these little micro units. And what they are, are two to 400 square feet, little apartments the size of garages. And these make so much sense. I'm going to break down what these are, kind of how these play out because they're building them left and right all over the country right now. For people that want to live in this city, that can't afford to live in the city, this is probably going to be your best option. You're going to be able to live alone. You're not going to need three roommates in a one bedroom or two bedroom apartment. You'll have your own spot. It's much more affordable. And I see this as a growing trend for people that want to live in the city, be close to employment so they can literally just drive to work or take the metro to work and keep costs low because not everyone can be able to afford to move to the suburbs. And the suburbs will ideally be the, the best place for a lot of people due to crime, better schools, and I think land and just more privacy. And who can't move to the suburbs, they're gonna be looking for affordable places to live. So like studio apartments and micro units are gonna really, really be the new thing. And I bet that that, that whole area continues to explode. I was looking on Google recently about all the micro units that are being built just in the last week. So to put this into context, this is the last five days on Google for these micro unit apartment buildings. This is gonna be the biggest trend that we're gonna see in real estate for the coming decade. First, Park Hill Coworking opens as part of block long, look at the keywords here, micro unit apartment building. Next one, Breckenridge, Colorado, moves forward with micro studio apartment project. Next one, blonde apartments include micro units for downtown. The next one, 19 story high rise building in Michigan theater delayed until 2021 mid pandemic. Keywords at the bottom, micro units one day ago. Ben considers micro units and smaller dwelling units. Then new 11th and main apartments coming to former Boise Safari Inn. And then keyword here is micro apartments on the second line. Cleveland Planning Commission gives okay to new apartment building as vacancies increase in downtown, which is gonna happen. People are gonna move out of downtown into something more affordable. And micro units, let's get small, the next one. Micro units, second line there. Then Riverhead Town considering plan to allow conversions. And then keyword here, last line, micro apartments. I mean, this is, this is where we're going. We're going here because this is what's affordable, this is what's practical. I'm gonna show you what the units actually look like but because you might get a little deterred on the square footage, but once you actually see how these are laid out, you're gonna see why these are gonna be so popular. They're building them and it just makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense. We're gonna see such a huge wave of foreclosure coming soon that I'm not buying real estate right now. I'm paying attention because we're six months, almost six months into the first wave. How long is the second wave gonna be? Is it gonna be another six months? Because if it is, prices are coming down in a huge, 
huge way. So that being said, smash that like button, drop your comments below, subscribe, you will not regret it. And if you do subscribe, drop it in the comment section, I'll personally welcome you to the channel. All right guys, let's begin. So what we generally see in a recession is statistically, families are more likely to divorce, they're more likely to divide and sell off things they don't need to bear down and buckle down with expenses so they can survive these tough and difficult times. That's an unfortunate reality with economic downturns. Now, in terms of what's gonna happen with real estate, I'm seeing massive reductions in the space people need to live. So people before would take a two bedroom or a three bedroom apartment and have a friend or so live there and everything was fine. So here's what pre-pandemic living looked like for someone making 150 to $200,000 a year in a big city. You might maybe have a friend that's making 150, 200, and you gotta say, you know what, let's, let's just split the rent. We'll get a really nice spot. You have your own bedroom, I have my own bedroom. We'll pay 5,000, we'll split it 2,500 each, and we'll each split the utilities. And it makes a lot of sense. You guys say, okay, great. You guys are gonna save up your down payment to get your own houses, and this is just a temporary solution. Well, the pandemic hit, and you lost your job, and he or she lost their job. So you guys are both downsizing. Now you're gonna leave this nice luxury apartment for something that you can basically call your own, something small, something in a good location and affordable, and something where you're gonna have some privacy. I mean, there's so much craziness going on in the world, and who wants to listen to the news, and who wants to really be around a lot of people right now? A lot of people just want their own space. So that being said, you go to a really nice micro unit like this, where everything is in one unit, everything is in one room, so you go into the room, generally the one bedroom, you'll have a hallway that will lead you through the kitchen to the front door and a bedroom at the end. Now with the micro, you enter the unit in most circumstances and the kitchen's right there, it's a small kitchen, and then the living room, and then you'll either have like a quagmire type bed or the bed will tuck underneath and it's just enough space for everything that you would need in terms of clothing, uh, in terms of really just functionality and living. And that's why I think these are gonna pick up so, really so much demand, just because it's very practical, it's functional, it gives people their space, and it's affordable, which is gonna be very, very important going forward, especially over the next few years. And they have many different types of layouts as well. Brand new appliances, because these are new, this is a new type of living. This wasn't done just a few years ago. Now they're starting to really blow these out and build them up in nearly every city across America. So there's a bunch of different layouts. Everything is stainless steel appliances and just, just a great light and bright living space. And you'll probably save 15%, maybe 15 to 20% below the one bedroom, the luxury one bedroom, where you'd spend maybe 3,000 or 3,500 for that nice luxury one bedroom. With this luxury micro unit, it might be 2,500. So, I mean, it's a pretty big difference. It might save you 500 or $1,000 per month just getting rid of the hallway and a good section of a bedroom and, and just call it a micro unit. So, I really think these are gonna pick up and they make even more sense for a developer and this is why. Now, with developers, they're aware of this. In places like LA and New York City and Chicago, they are building studios, micro units, and one bedrooms. The beautiful thing about micro units and why I think they're gonna pick up so much is developers are incentivized to build these units. Now, let me explain why. If they were to build, let's say, 10 one bedroom apartments, they'd have to supply one parking spot per unit in most situations. And the parking is one of the most expensive expenses with building apartments. And in these cities, the land, there's only so much land available. So they have to supply the parking underneath they have to excavate the earth and supply these parking stalls these could be very expensive between 50 and eighty thousand dollars per parking spot so it's a bulk of their overall expense per unit to build now with micro units for example in culver city california they only have to supply 0.5 percent parking so half the parking but here's the other advantage is that they control the market now with these micro units before it was what a one bedroom would rent for would kind of determine what a two bedroom, what their potential would be to rent for. And then the two bedroom would determine the three bedroom. Now the micro unit, the advantage, is they only have to be 15%, 10, 15% below the one bedroom. And people that would normally rent the one bedroom are now saying, hmm, for a little bit less, I'd be able to save a lot more money. And they slowly start moving more and more and more towards these micro units. 
Now, this is greatly going to impact the decisions of developers building moving forward because they're able to build more units for less money and make much more money. And it's also going to change the landscape of what tenants are looking for. They're gonna be much more susceptible to downsizing and compressing their needs to bear down while they figure out a new career and kind of a, a new normal for a lot of people. So I see this is gonna be a big, big trend, people downsizing, selling homes, getting out of the big apartments, getting lean and mean into these small apartments, figuring out what they're gonna be doing next. And uh, I think there's gonna be a great alternative and I see this as something that's gonna grow greatly over the next year to two years and beyond as the population continues to increase, jobs become less available, high paying jobs become less available. And a lot of these high paying jobs that were once forced to be in these expensive cities start working remotely, people are gonna be less likely to hire in these big cities because these big cities require big salaries to support the lifestyle in these cities. They're gonna start outsourcing to other places and this is going to greatly impact the high incomes that would normally rent those beautiful luxury apartments. And it's gonna make the micro units more affordable for the basic everyday income. I personally think these micro units are so cool and if I was a bachelor, a single guy, didn't have a family, didn't have a property, tying me down, I would 100% move into one of these micro units for a variety of reasons. First is I like to save money. Second, I like nice things. And these micro units generally are nice, new and beautiful. And they offer the same amenities that a one bedroom would. And then number three is I don't have that much stuff. I like just a closet full of clothes, some cash in my pocket, and I like to be able to move around. And that's pretty much it. I mean, I don't have that much stuff. And I think a lot of people are getting to that place as well where they don't have all this stuff. A lot of people are just downsizing. So I'm curious, if you live in a city, would you consider downsizing from a maybe a roommate situation with a two bedroom where you are in one room and your roommate's in another room? Maybe getting your own place, but in a one bedroom apartment might be too expensive. Would you consider the micro unit situation? And if you are in that city and you're moving to the suburbs, if you were to ever move back into the city, would you move into a micro unit? I'm really curious what the market says. I mean, we read a lot of these surveys and uh, get a lot of feedback online, but sometimes you don't really know what to believe. To me, I personally think that this is the way that it's going because it kind of reminds me of an investing philosophy from Sam Zell. He's one of the richest real estate billionaires in America. I mean, I think he is top five owns most apartments in America. So apartment buildings. So that being said, his philosophy was in throughout 2009, all the way up to about 2018, 2019, he was buying mobile home parks because he realized that there was gonna be another crash. And when it came, people were gonna downsize from the two bedrooms to the one bedrooms, one bedrooms to the studios. And then eventually it would get to the point of people saying, the, even those are too expensive. I need a mobile home. So he figured, okay, I'm gonna go out and buy all these mobile home parks. He bought 144,000 of them throughout America. And his plan was all I have to be is just a fraction below the cost of an apartment and people are just gonna pay whatever it is that I ask. So essentially he controls the market. And I think the micro unit developers are thinking the same way. They're saying, hey, you wanna be in the city? You wanna be next to Trader Joe's and Whole Foods? You wanna be next to your friends? You wanna to go to Starbucks? You wanna do all this stuff? Then I'll be the cheapest game in town. Just come here and sign this dotted line. But I think that this is gonna grow. Drop your comments below though. I'm really curious what your take is. And um, hit the like button. Subscribe if you're a new subscriber. Let me know in the comment section. I'll personally welcome to the channel. All right guys, until next time.